gonna go for it. Oh, maybe not. Good afternoon, and we're back out. And yet again, I'm in the southern uplands. <laughs> Seems to like this place, but this time I am east of the M74. Last week I went west. Um, today has been a, a one for checking the weather. Um, there's been like a slow weather front moving from north south, and it was looking like it was going to clear around about four, five o'clock. It's just about five o'clock now, and there's a few black clouds, but there's a bit of sun coming out as well, so all is good. Ten mile down that motorway, when I come through Lockerbie, absolutely chucking it down. And all of a sudden, it just cleared because the hills were completely covered. So I cleared Lockerbie, and I could see all the summits. God, I was relieved. I was expecting it to, to get in and be absolutely tipping it down, but uh, thankfully not. So it's just going to be a quick one tonight. I've just finished work, and I'm back in at half past nine in the morning, so it'll be a bit of a summit camp on Croft Head. And then I'll be up sharp, down and back away, as you do. I just stopped for a breather. I was expecting it to be a, a lot wetter underfoot. I put the gaiters on and the bigger boots on. My um, leather boots expected it to be really sodden, but it's not too bad. You know, grass is a little damp, but it's a nice little breeze blowing. So the, the rain must have cleared through here after dinner. So it's had a good four to five hours to sort of dry out a bit, which is good. It's trying, it keeps trying to get out. So hopefully we'll maybe, uh, every week catch a, a sunset with a bit of cloud a bit of atmosphere eh? right let's push on and get to the top of Croft Head GPT yet. Yeah, you can see where it's all washed out right down here, scoured. And there's bits here. I'm heading up there. But uh, first of all, get the bag off. I'm going to take this, this top off. Take a layer off because I'm getting a bit warm and I will definitely be warm going up there. But, uh, oh, that's good. If you remember that from a few weeks ago, the uh, sheepfold camp. I was right up behind on there, lock fell, which I had to come off because of the wind, and I opted for in there. I'll leave a link to the video. Here somewhere. But yeah, some big clouds. Hopefully, by the time I get up there, it clears through. So, this is the route I took through the month down this way. But it's funny looking from above, the trees have all just been battered, low level. So, obviously, the wind's just howled up the valley through because the ones on the top are all right. Just this lower section. The views are opening up. Saddle York that I was on a few weeks back. It's a glorious day as well. Yeah, it seems to be clearing out nicely. But uh, still got a bit further to go.
right, this is the summit of Croft Head, 637 metres, just over 2,000 feet. So yeah, it's cleared out nicely now. That's the one I never camped on the other week, Lockfell. But you're looking back sort of towards south, it's still that sort of bank of cloud, low level misty stuff that I come through past Lockerbie, so it's very slowly pushing southwards, so made the right choice, choice to come north tonight. But in this breeze it's cooling right down so I need to keep moving. Okay, as you can see I'm in the dew on it tonight. Wind is battering from this side. Well, it's not battering. It's a bit breezy, that's about it. But uh, just gone for the single pole configuration today, and I'm uh, <laughs> going back to the the quilt. It is supposed to get down to about two, three degrees, so it'd be quite cool. I'm in that wind, so I wasn't taking any chances. My thermos, my pillows as usual. Yep. My usual mess. It's not too bad, it's you know, it's an organised mess as I say. But uh, yeah, once you're in here, it's nice and sheltered out the wind. So it's quite warm, but uh, I'm a bit hungry now, so I want to get something on to eat. Yeah, not fancy tonight. Just got some barbecue beef noodles, some uh, refrigerators in, and a hot apple and custard as per. So, let's get some uh, water on it. It's a blustery evening, but bright. At least it's dry, eh? Right, just having the final brew of the night. A hot chocolate and a flake. But yeah, wasn't a bad sun sunset as the go, you know. But it's cleared right through now, temperatures are quite cold, so. But the winds are supposed to drop during the night. Um, I'm gonna be up sharp. I'll give myself an hour to get back, then an hour drive home, roughly, for 45 to you know 50 minutes. So give it an hour. So if I can get back to the car for seven, back home for just after eight, I mean work at half past nine, so. 
So it's the only time I can do it really. I'm in work all weekend, so I finish sharp this afternoon. Not until half nine tomorrow. I couldn't have done tomorrow night because I'm in at eight o'clock on Sunday, so I'm off next weekend. So hopefully I'll uh, I'll get one then. But yeah, it's cool. So I will finish this, and I'll be hitting the sack. So I'll catch you all in the morning. Morning campers. Well, the wind completely died last night. But with that I am... Uh, the tent full of condensation, so... You kind of win. Last week I had uh, pretty well zero, but this... This week's pretty damp inside. But that's just the conditions, but... Uh, I'm about 25 minutes before sunrise, so at the moment there's nothing to see, it's a bit overcast and cloudy, but whether we get anything, because it's quite, quite a lot of cloud, but uh, as always, first job of the morning is get a brew on, get sorted. Oh. I don't think we're going to get much of a sunrise because the summits are all clagged in. I've seen mist rolling off the tops heading this way, so it'll be very doubtful. So it'll just be a case of uh, get sorted and get down. It's going to be a bit aware of time. It's only 10 past 5, so we're doing all right. Yeah, so the, the mists are still hugging the, the tops of the hills, so sunrise was totally blanked out. Bit of colour, <laughs> if you can call it. But I don't think there's much happening this morning. But here we are, all packed. The left no trace, just a flat spot. Just make sure we've left no pegs. So just a case of getting the bag on. Heading back down. That's us on the move there. Uh, 10 to 6. I don't know, right? I was, you know, I planned for 6 o'clock to be away by. Just over an hour to get back down to the car, but uh, yeah. Let's take Route 1 this morning straight down. Yep, interesting way down. It's not too bad. We'll, uh, Probably just be a bit heavy on the toes. It's a bit of a little path to get right into the middle bit. Yeah, we've soon dropped a bit and we're heading. If this camera pick it out, there's a sort of sheepfold down there. Pick the track up along. But yeah, this is just a direct route. So I've come down off the well, the summit is just behind there, but zigged zag me way down and I've picked up the main path. Probably save myself about 25 minutes, half an hour. Right, onwards. That warmed us up. It might have been quick, but uh, it wasn't good for my, my left big toe, which I've already damaged on a walk well, before Christmas. <laughs> it's still giving us uh, problems, but... Yeah, ten past six, so we're doing good time. Yeah, the summit is still holding the cloud about 600 metres above. Hopefully that'll lift as the day clears, but there is a bit of blue sky trying to, trying to poke through. Okay. That's us just about down off the hill now. Say so it was just a quick overnighter up on Croft Head, sort of between shifts, making the most of the time. So thanks for watching. We'll see you out on the next one.